for? Suck my d Kodak. Suck my d You took him on. You shot. Where do my dad nigga on my body? Can't come to New York. Is you took him on, nigga? Hey man, stay safe world, you already know what's going on. We gotta talk about this situation with Kodak Black and Shaq Act, man. It's it's definitely one of those moments where it's like, bruh, people are just beefing over some random shit that could be a mis, like, understanding, but who really even knows, man? We gonna get right into it, but before we do, I'm gonna need y'all to like, comment, subscribe, and we gonna run this up. So basically, if you didn't see already, Shaq went on his live and dissed Kodak ban him quote unquote from the city of new york and basically said f kodak for a multitude of reasons i guess it's like some type of misunderstanding or some shit basically kodak went on his story and talked about the situation too he basically said that i mean 22 g's kodak blocks artist apparently feels some type of way about kodak because Shaw x somehow got his hands on a kodak black feature but if you really know the music industry and you really see that shit, that could happen in any type of way. Like when people send out their verses and stuff, people might not end up using it or something and then it gets lost in a hard drive or something. Someone picks it up or just holds it and gives it to someone else. Basically it gets transferred around. Like I know several people who have able to get like rappers features and features like that from just features that were just around up and down downtown and shit like that. So, I mean, I kind of believe Kodak in that type of instance, but honestly, I don't really even know. Honestly, I'm pretty sure, isn't Shaw at the dude that be like be straight up boxing his girlfriend and shit? And like, I seen one video of him doing that shit. I'm pretty sure that's him. It's a rapper from New York and I'm, I'm pretty sure it was that dude. But um, I don't really know, like he's pretty big, but I wouldn't say he's like the biggest to say that like Kodak really needs to be working with him like 22 G's I'm pretty sure like maybe people be listening to shot act like the underground like drill niggas that be listening to music and shit in New York probably be listening to him but it's like I feel like the general population might be listening to 22 G's more so it's like I don't really see like the fact I mean like I really don't really even see why someone would even compare the two but it's like I mean, people definitely are listening to him, but I just don't see that Kodak would reach out to this nigga like that and drop a whole song when his whole artist 22 G's has a beef with him. And I'm not really understanding if it's like some gang shit or if it's just like a beef in general because like New York niggas just be angry as fuck all the time, beefing with whoever. But regardless this whole misunderstanding turned into something way bigger to niggas on live talking about threatening niggas and shit from going to new york the dumbest fucking shit ever because now everyone has this shit and if anything happens to kodak niggas gonna know exactly who the fuck did it these niggas are fucking stupid bro i swear to god i can't even like it's a usual thing now like it's like once a day there's a rapper basically self snitching and shit which is like the dumbest shit ever now but it's like the social media age made everyone fry man it's like some neanderthal shit but let me know in the comments what y'all think about this shit man real stay safe shit you already know what the fuck is going on make sure y'all like comment subscribe follow us on instagram we got the merch in the link in the bio man real stay safe shit you already know it's good peace